Hello, hello, this is Tramel with Metro Carpet Cleaning and Solutions. It is Saturday morning, and, um, well, not Saturday morning, I'm sorry, Saturday afternoon, and I am about to clean uh, this home in Kannapolis, and uh, it's pretty stained. Uh, of course, we're gonna pre-vacuum, and um, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use on this place. And um, we're gonna get these carpets looking the best way we can. Alrighty. We have a total of four areas here. First area. Second room. And this is two areas. This is a lot of soil areas right here. So this is two areas. Then you have two rooms, so it's a total of four areas. This is the front when you first walk in. So we got a lot of pre-treating to do and we have a lot of uh, hesitating to do. soil and lint okay here are the main players here uh, usually I'll use even for pretty bad carpets I'll use an extraction powder like this one Oops. like this one right here which is really good and this one these are two extraction powders that I use on a regular basis Okay, but in this case, the um, there are quite a bit of really bad spots in soil areas. So what I'm going to do here is use this um, pre-treatment pH of 13, 12 to 13. It's really good. It's a citrus and. Uh, it uh, has enzymes and oxygen boosters, so I might I might use a little bit of this to boost it because it's a booster. But I'm not going to use a lot because this is really some powerful stuff. It's from Harvard, and then I'm gonna take this rinse with a pH of 2.5 to 3 and rinse it out really good. So this should really handle most of that and then I have some um, some spotters here and there in the back over here you can't see them behind the hoses so but this is the main this is gonna be the main players here we're gonna pre-spray agitate and um, we're not going to use any extraction powders at all this calls for more aggressive 
detergent. Okay, we're, start, we're about to start pre spraying here. Again, I'm gonna show you the spots that are in the living room in this heavy, heavy spotted traffic area here. Dining area right in front of the back door. So we're gonna start pre-treating back here in the back room. So I have a lot of colored stains, look like markers, and some of this might not come up, might be permanent. Um, some rust. So I have the three bedrooms pre-sprayed. Um, I'm gonna do the living room and the, and the dining room area last. I like to pre-spray like at least three rooms at a time, three to four at a time. I don't like to pre-spray too many. Um, you know, I want my pre-spray to dry up or, you know, but that's just how I do. So we can start agitating in this room and then we're gonna agitate the other two rooms, extract, and then we're gonna go back and uh, pre-spray the living room and dining area and extract. Things that are not coming up like this one, we're gonna put some oxidizer on it. And hopefully it'll uh, hopefully some of it will dissipate. Still looks a whole lot better. So now we're on to the third room. That's my signature. done. Now we're going to pre-spray the dining room area and the living area and agitate. So I really got to hit this front because it's right in front of the door. It's really bad here. <sighs> Still agitating here. Living room is already agitated. I mean, the dining room area has been agitated. And we're agitating in front of the couches. All right, all done agitating. And a lot of it did brighten up. So we're about to extract. And of course, more hair, which is a good thing. Less hair to clog up my filter. So the dirt is coming up good. 
course there's some permanent spots some permanent stains but it's coming up pretty good Well, as you can see, as compared to before, most of the stains came up really good. A lot of these were like really bad brown stains. They came up really good. I'm gonna see what I can do with this red stain here. See if we can remove that with some heat transfer. And I'm almost done here, but you can see the difference where we clean. You can see the dirt mark right here. So a lot of dirt is coming up out of this carpet. And we are closing in on the dirt. This is our last area here. Alright. Turn out really good besides for some uh, permanent stains. Other than that, came out really good. So here's your final result. This front came out really good. Uh, they have a lot of stains. I'm not sure if they, a lot of times when people try to use cleaners, they leave marks. They use too much. Um, I see that a lot. But uh, other than that, that red stain came up a whole lot more too. So this front really came out good.